Elliott Investment Management, a prominent activist investor known for shaking up corporate boardrooms, has recently surprised market observers by extending an olive branch to Southwest Airlines. This unexpected truce follows a period of public scrutiny and pressure exerted by Elliott on the airline's management. The move has raised eyebrows and fueled speculation, particularly as it coincides with Elliott significantly increasing its economic exposure to Southwest. This unexpected turn of events begs the question, what motivated this sudden shift in dynamics? Why would Elliott, known for its assertive tactics, opt for a truce while simultaneously deepening its investment? Elliott's history with Southwest hasn't always been characterized by harmony. The relationship has seen its fair share of turbulence and disagreements. In 2019, the hedge fund publicly criticized Southwest's operational efficiency and capital allocation strategies. They were vocal about their concerns, making headlines and stirring discussions in the financial community. Elliott argued that the airline was lagging behind its competitors in key areas, impacting profitability and shareholder value. They pointed out inefficiencies and areas where Southwest could improve to regain its competitive edge. They advocated for changes in leadership and strategic direction, suggesting that a new approach was necessary to steer the airline back on course and enhance its market position. This public pressure campaign, a hallmark of Elliott's activist approach, aimed to push Southwest towards changes that aligned with Elliott's vision for the company's future. They believed that with the right adjustments, Southwest could unlock significant value. Now, with the truce and increased investment, it appears Elliott sees untapped potential in Southwest, recognizing opportunities that others might have overlooked, believing the airline's stock to be undervalued by the market. They see a chance to capitalize on this perceived undervaluation. But what makes Elliott so confident in Southwest's potential for a turnaround? What insights do they have that fuel their optimism? What specific factors could be driving their optimistic outlook despite the airline's recent challenges? These are the questions that investors and analysts alike are eager to explore. Elliott's increased investment in Southwest suggests a firm belief in the airline's long-term prospects. Several factors could be contributing to this assessment. Southwest has a historically strong brand known for its low-cost model and customer loyalty. Furthermore, the airline industry is recovering from the pandemic-induced downturn, with travel demand steadily increasing. Elliott might be anticipating that Southwest, with its efficient operations and focus on domestic travel, is well positioned to capitalize on this rebound. However, Elliott's increased stake also raises questions about their potential influence on Southwest's future direction. Will this truce translate into a more collaborative relationship? or will Elliott leverage its position to push for significant changes within the airline? With its increased economic exposure, Elliott gains a more prominent voice in Southwest's boardroom. While the specifics of the truce remain undisclosed, it's reasonable to assume that Elliott now has a more direct line of communication with Southwest's leadership. This newfound influence could manifest in various ways. Elliott might advocate for specific operational improvements, strategic partnerships, or even changes to the company's capital structure. Their focus could be on maximizing shareholder value through a combination of revenue growth, cost optimization, and strategic investments. The question remains, how will Southwest's existing leadership navigate this new dynamic? Will they embrace Elliott's input as valuable guidance or perceive it as intrusive interference? The airline industry is notoriously cyclical and faces ongoing challenges, including volatile fuel prices, intense competition and evolving consumer preferences. Yeah, Southwest, despite its strengths, is not immune to these pressures. Elliott's involvement adds another layer of complexity to Southwest's strategic calculus. The airline's leadership must balance its existing plans with Elliott's vision for the company's future.
This balancing act will require careful consideration and a clear understanding of the potential risks and rewards associated with different strategic paths. Now, let's circle back to the question posed at the beginning. What prompted this sudden truce between Elliot and Southwest? And why did it coincide with Elliot's increased investment in the airline? Section 6. Answering the call. Why the truce? Why now? The truce between Elliot and Southwest likely stems from a combination of factors, including market conditions, strategic interests and mutual benefits. For Elliot, the decision to increase its stake suggests a calculated bet on Southwest's long-term potential. This move indicates confidence in the airline's ability to navigate current challenges and emerge stronger. The truce itself might reflect a recognition that a more collaborative approach is more likely to unlock that potential than continued public pressure. By working together, both parties can focus on shared goals and drive greater value. For Southwest, the truce offers a reprieve from the distraction of an activist investor publicly challenging its decisions. This pause allows the company to concentrate on its core operations and strategic initiatives. It allows the airline's leadership to focus on navigating the complexities of the industry without the added pressure of a public campaign. This focus is crucial for maintaining operational efficiency and customer satisfaction. However, this truce doesn't necessarily signal an end to Elliot's activism. The firm is known for its strategic manoeuvres and may continue to influence Southwest's direction behind the scenes. It might simply represent a shift in strategy, moving from public criticism to a more private and potentially more effective form of influence. This approach can lead to more constructive outcomes and sustained improvements. What could Elliot's next move be? And how might it impact Southwest's trajectory in the highly competitive airline industry? The future remains uncertain, but the truce marks a significant moment in their ongoing relationship. Section 7. Elliot's Next Move. Speculation and Strategies. In this section, we delve into the potential strategies and speculative moves that Elliot Management might employ in their ongoing engagement with Southwest Airlines. Elliot's next move remains uncertain, shrouded in a veil of strategic ambiguity, but their history provides some clues. By examining their past actions and strategic maneuvers, we can infer possible future steps. They might leverage their increased stake to push for board representation, seeking to gain a foothold in the decision-making process, giving them a more direct and influential role in shaping Southwest's strategic direction. This could lead to significant shifts in company policies and priorities. Alternatively, they might maintain a more behind-the-scenes approach, opting for subtle influence, engaging with management privately to advocate for specific changes. This method allows them to steer the company without drawing public attention. Their focus could be on operational efficiencies, cost-cutting measures, and streamlining processes to enhance profitability or exploring new revenue streams. This might include innovative business strategies or tapping into untapped markets. Elliot's ultimate goal is likely to maximize its investment in Southwest, ensuring a substantial return on their financial commitment. How they choose to achieve that goal will depend on a complex interplay of factors, including Southwest's financial performance, industry dynamics and market conditions, and the evolving relationship between Elliott and Southwest's leadership. This relationship will be crucial in determining the success of their strategies. Now, it's your turn to weigh in. Consider the various factors at play and the potential outcomes. What are your thoughts on Elliott's involvement with Southwest? Do you foresee a positive transformation or potential challenges ahead? Do you believe their influence will be positive or negative for the airline's future? Your insights could shed light on this complex and evolving situation. Section 8. Your take, the future of Southwest Airlines. The future of Southwest Airlines hangs in the balance as Elliott Investment Management takes a more prominent role. 
Will Elliot's influence steer the airline towards a brighter future, or will their involvement create turbulence and uncertainty? Share your insights and predictions in the comments below. Do you believe Elliot's focus on shareholder value will benefit Southwest's customers and employees, or will it come at their expense? What strategic decisions should Southwest's leadership prioritize to navigate this new era? Your perspectives are valuable in understanding the potential ramifications of this high-stakes corporate drama. Section 9. Join the conversation. Airline Industry Insights. The airline industry is at a crossroads, grappling with economic uncertainty, evolving consumer behaviour and increasing environmental concerns. Elliott's involvement with Southwest is just one example of the challenges and opportunities facing this 